Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the ribbon chart visual, a visual which not everybody knows how to use it, not everybody uses it in their uh, dashboards, but at the same time, it's very, very powerful visual which can give you a lot of insights just by looking at it and hovering over the data points over here. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the firstly, I'm going to explain the benefits of using this particular visual, right? So as you can see over here, I have the data on the X axis, I have the data from 2015 to 2018. And on the Y axis, I have my uh, sales data and categorized by region over here. So as you can see here, uh, there are four regions over here. And if you notice the visual carefully, you will see that there are four bars over here, just like how you have in a, a column chart, just similar, very similar to that. You have these four columns over here and there is this ribbon over here, which I will come to that. So basically these are your column charts, which, which is giving you the sales information. So basically 0 0.5 million is for South and 0.7 million is for Central and uh, 1 million here is representing the West region over here. However, you see that there is a ribbon as well over here which is giving you more information and more insights into your data set. For example, when you hover over this particular ribbon over here, let me just take a screenshot of this. And so if you look at the information that this particular visual is providing us, so we hovered over here, right? So it is telling us our, 2000, our sales for 2015 and what are our sales number for 2016 and the next uh, row over here is giving us information of what is the change percentage that has happened between 2016 and 2015. We can see that there is a drop in 3% and in the 2015, in the year 2015, the rank was number one. We can see that the highest was uh, the West region over here. That's why it is here on the top. And likewise, in 2016, it went down by 3% and thereby dropping a rank to second rank and the change in rank is one. If we look at the years following from 2016, we can see that the West region here had a dip in 3% and then immediately in the next year, it again picked up and the sales went up by 26.9% and going back to rank one again in the year 2017. Likewise, if we hover over here, it is giving us the details of how, what is the percentage change between 2017 to 2018. And therefore we can see that there is a change in percentage of 37% and also the value over here. So likewise over here you will see that the uh, region east over here has dropped to uh, second rank from 2016 to 2017 and you will see what is the change percentage. And uh, likewise over here, the uh, region south, you will see that there is no change in the uh, rank here. However, there is an increase in the sales percentage. So this gives you a lot of information uh, over here, especially about ranks, the percentage change, etc. You don't have to create a lot of measures, a lot of writing of tags and all of that. This one chart is able to give you all of the information related to the rank, related to the sales, related to the percentage drop or increase over a period of time. Now, let's quickly go ahead and see how we can create this particular chart. So there is this particular icon over here, it's called as ribbon chart under your visuals. You can simply click on that and add the visual. And I'm gonna go here into my data set. And the first thing that I'm gonna do here is click on sales. So, so I've now got my sales. Let me just come over here to format visual and turn on data labels. So this we will now start seeing the data labels. So once you have added sales, it, uh, let us now add the X axis wherein we need the order date. So we'll add the order date over here. Let's only have year for now and get rid of everything else. So we've now got the order date by year. You will see that these are nothing but just the column charts uh, over here. And the magic happens when we add the legend over here. So I'm going to add the um, region into the legend over here. And you will see all of that magic has started over here with just drag and drop of a 
of the columns over here we now have all the information that we needed over here so we can see we can just hover over this particular ribbon over here to get all the details that we just spoke about so this is a very powerful chart guys and i i think you must include these in your dashboards uh, while explaining to your uh, clients and uh, when you are trying to analyze the data so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials